Hey guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to download Massim32 and install it. Um, I noticed that a lot of the videos on YouTube are about how to um, download the old, um, like the really old one that only works for MS-DOS. And that's not very helpful, so we're going to actually do download the, the more modern one. Uh, or at least the relatively modern one. I mean, 32-bit programs are pretty old at this point, but it doesn't matter. Okay, but anyway, we're going to go over to massim32.com and we're going to just start doing our thing and we're going to find... Okay, US Site 1 it should be here. Oh, wait, never mind. We gotta do US Site 2 because US Site 1 doesn't work for some reason. Okay, there we go. And now we just open it and install. Yes, install. Oh, okay. Alright, so this is. This is. This, this happens to have a really weird and unique, like. Um, uh, it has a really, really unique installer. I've never seen one like this ever, but. The, um, you, you might not notice that you might not notice the um, install button immediately, but it's this freaking picture right here. It's this big Earth. You gotta click the Earth. <laughs> it's no, <laughs> like I said, this is really weird and unique, but whatever. Okay, then we then we just select the partition or not partition. We select the directory and then we install. All right, and we just keep clicking OK. Extract. Yes. Do your thing. This is the most unique installer that I've ever, I've ever had the honor of using. Okay, now it's doing all this crap, and we're just gonna wait here for a little bit and, until it, until it finishes. If you want to skip forward, feel free to do so. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, let's let's just wait for it to do its thing. So, uh, uh, how's your day? How's your day going? Oh, good. Okay, that's cool. My my day my day's going okay. My mine is mine is fine. I'm doing okay. Everything's okay, I swear. I'm not dying inside. I'm not a lifeless soulless husk of a man. I tr I, I trust me, I'm not. I'm just a normal I'm just a normal person like everybody else. I'm a I'm so I'm a normal guy. Um so yeah, trust just trust what I say because like what I, everything I say is true, and and that that's a fa that's factual. It's not an opinion. It's factual. <clears throat> it's been factual for the for the entirety of all time. He, God knew it before he even created the world. He knew that everything I say is right before he even created me. He already knew that I everything I say is factual. There is nothing that I could ever say that is wrong ever. I've never made any mistakes in my life, and I don't plan to anytime soon. And I'm gonna be not doing anything wrong for the entirety of the rest of existence. So it, there's no reason to even say that because everybody already knows it. And and yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah, you get what I mean. But anyway, it's done and installing now. So now we just click, press any key. The main system library is kernel 32. User 32 and GDA 32 built appear to have built correctly, which is good because we're gonna need that. We're gonna need those for us for assembly programming like a lot. And do I want to? No, you just just click no on that. <coughs> and then there we go. Now we've got Massim installed. So now, um, if we wanna just, uh oh, uh oh, wait, uh oh, I might have just. Uh, okay, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. I don't know why that happened. But, uh, anyway, um, now we should be able to start making some, um, uh, some assembly programs. So let's just make it a, a quick test program to see if it works. Um, let me see. I'm gonna look and see how I made the, the batch files before. Um, okay. Alright, let's just make a simple hello world. Um, assembly program. So first, first of all, let's just make our our folder ASM and open it. And we're gonna put uh, a uh, we're gonna put a batch file build 
Hold that bet. And we're gonna... Wait, why is it... Oh, oh, oh okay. I, uh... Oh, God, okay, I, I for forgot that Windows does this. It makes it so that, um... You can't see the file extensions unless you change it. Oh, I forgot how to change that. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, man. Okay, well, let me, we can just do it in Notepad. So, all right. Um, let's just delete this, and then we're going to go over to Notepad. Notepad, and we're going to uh, let's go over to the... Uh, we're going to go over to that folder... After we, after we, well, well, let's actually make the, the batch file first. Okay, so echo off. You, you always got to do echo off. Clear. Um, well, actually, let's do uh, main. Um, wait, no, no. Main. Main. And then clear. Color. Or zero, zero A. And then, now we start using the actual massim command. So, so we. I don't know why, but for some reason on my systems, it, it it requires me to actually type the whole path. But anyway, so let's do massim32 bin ml and then c off uh, cp cp and then we're going to do program.asm. Now, now we do the next line, which is the link, the linker Massim32 bin link um, subsystem uh, console and then pro program.object and then we just just pause and then go to test or not test go to main there we go and then now uh, we just go into our ASM folder uh, and we save this as uh, save this as uh, build.bat and then there we go now it will actually work so anyway alright now now let's actually get into making the, the real program so um, let's okay let me zoom in let me, oh I can't zoom in I forgot this isn't Windows 10 I gotta actually change the font. Okay, let's make this uh, 14. Or yeah, yeah, 14 is good. So that's just so that you guys can see it. Okay, so 386, so that it's x86 mode. Um, model flat. Standard call makes the memory flat, and then option case map uh, none just makes it so that so, uh, calls aren't case sensitive all right now we just um we just make some co or actually wait no 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 now we include uh uh mat massim 32 include massim 32 rt that include massim 32 rt includes a lot of the includes that you need and then now we just do um we do data um Message defined by hello world or world. There we go. I accidentally um, capitalized it. The second word. Uh, that's not how English works. Okay, so code. Now we just do main main and and main. Uh, let me do um. What do we do? Then we do um, load uh, you load the address of message into EAX, and then we push EAX, and then we call call standard out, and then push zero, and we call exit process. And that should be all. Yeah, that should be it. So now we just call this program.asm and we build it. And there we go. Now our program is built. So now if we just um, do CMD and put in the, the path CD. Oh, god damn it. CD 
paste. There we go. And now we just do program.exe. Hello world. Look at that. Awesome. Okay. Uh, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It um, it was just a tutorial on how to actually get Massim working. Um, <clears throat> for some reason, there aren't very many helpful tutorials on how to do it, and 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 a lot of the uh, syntaxes aren't aren't um, like corresponding to the actual title of the video. So I I, th I thought I would help a little bit with that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more stuff like this, leave in the comments. And yeah, see you guys.